It's another spark video. So today we're gonna go into the hand gestures of the spark and we're gonna have y'all check it out with us. So one of the big differentiators of the DJI Spark from the Mavic or the Phantom is the fact that you don't have to fly it with a remote or a phone. You can just fly it based on hand gestures. So we're going to take it out. Here it is, DJI Spark. And we're going to go over the hand gestures real quick. So the first one that you're going to want to do when you're taking off, if you don't have a remote, is you're going to hold it in your palm where it can see your face and that's called the palm launch. You hold it there for two seconds, and it'll go boom, boom, and then it'll just take off. So for the next one you're gonna wanna do is palm control, and what you're gonna do with palm control is you're gonna hold your hand flat for two seconds where the camera can see it, and then you will be able to control the spark just like this with your palm. The next gesture you're gonna wanna do is the away and follow, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold it out and then you're gonna wave your hand for two seconds and then it will fly five, uh, three meters away from you and three meters into the air and then it will follow you around. And if that does come disconnected at any point, what you're gonna wanna do is hold your hands up kind of like this in a Y. That will just make sure that it's following you again. So after you've done away and follow, you can now try the selfie mode. And what you're gonna wanna do is make a box with your hands and then it's going to be three meters in the air and away from you and it's just going to take a selfie so um, yeah the next one is the beckon and what you're going to want to do with the beckon is you're going to hold your hands up in a Y and then um, while it's following you you're going to hold your hands up with a Y and it will just come back from those three meters and be right there and then after it is right there, you can hold your palm under it for two seconds and the camera must see your hand and it will fly down and land in your palm, just like that. So now that we've showed you how to do all these gestures, um, we are going to try it out now. Tate has got the spark turned on and he is just about to double click the button with his right hand and he's going to make sure his palm is perfectly flat so that nothing hits his hand. So let's see what happens. And boom, there it is. That was the palm launch. So now we're going to do palm control where he holds his hand up for two seconds. And now he is controlling it. Now he can make it go up higher. He can make it come back down. Now walk forward and make it go backwards. Now walk backwards and make it come towards you. Now do the selfie. Cool, do another one. And this time, when it's blinking, uh, when it's blinking, it's, um, it's actually getting ready to take the picture. So hold that in front of your face. Okay, now it should follow you. Will it follow you if you walk? Cool, now walk around in the yard a little bit. I don't know how to roll video on it without the app. I only know how to do pictures.
Now land it. All right, so Tate and I are gonna try something real quick with the Spark. We're gonna actually see how this thing does following him on his bike. Oh, and here comes UPS. Maybe they're delivering a drone. Let's take a look. No, no drones today. Oh well. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and see how this does following him on his bike. it over here and then I'm gonna tell it to go up and away maybe I have to stop I think you have to stop the uh, hand control and then do up and away that's what it is you can't do up and away while you have hand control going on all right and now Tate is going to uh, Tate is going to uh, take over. I'm going to step out of the shot. All right, now just, yeah, try to, don't go under that tree too close. That is pretty cool. It's following him. So the spark just went all the way down the street following him. He did a big wide turnaround and it continued to follow him. So do another big wide turnaround, Tate. There it goes again. You don't even have to go that wide. Now ride fast or faster. Okay, so all in all, I think the Spark has some great attributes here with the gesture control. I definitely think that if you don't have a good cellular connection and you don't have a remote, so I definitely recommend the hand gestures uh, for people that just want to be followed around by their Spark, either if they're going on a run or biking or whatever it may be, I definitely think this is a good option. So stay tuned for more videos by Ready Set Drone and thanks for watching.